Hey guys, Shaybear1000 here. Got a life hack for you today. You took your kids camping. Uh, you went away for the weekend, uh, ball game, whatever. You're gone all weekend. You come back Sunday night. You find out that your power has been off. Okay, but it's back on, it's all restored, whatever. But you got a bunch of meat in your freezer or your deep freeze. How do you know if that's good to eat? Has it been thawed completely out? Or was it just out for a little bit and everything will be fine? I'm going to show you how you can check from now on when that happens. Stick with me and I'll show you what to do. Okay guys, like I said before, uh, you know your power was out, but you're not sure for how long. What you want to do, just take you a bottle, ordinary bottle or whatever, uh, pop bottle, water bottle. You want to fill it about halfway up, okay, with water, put your lid on nice and tight, and you freeze it laying down. So that way your water freezes lengthwise. Now once it freezes, like the next day, Put it in your fridge straight up and down like this. I'll show you. Right here. This is what I'm talking about. Now, I put some tea in here just for coloring. Okay, just so you can see it better than the water. As you can see, this is not clear frozen because I haven't had it in there all night. But your power was out and you come home and your water is still frozen like that or maybe just a little bit lower it'll be fine everything will be fine now if you come home and your water is frozen like this then you know your refrigerator your freezer or deep freeze or what have you has been out long enough to unthaw your meats or whatever you have in here and should be either thrown out or checked thoroughly um, but usually once meats are frozen then thawed and frozen they're usually not good um, you know I wouldn't trust them but like I said if you come home and it's like this or maybe just a little bit in the bottom but but the majority of it's still frozen like that you know you're probably pretty good if it's say half and half your meat's probably pretty good but you should probably go ahead and, and eat it up and have a big old barbecue with your friends but yeah, if you come home and you check your freezer and your water is now like that, that means it had to unthaw from this to get to this shape, you know, to get to where it is and then freeze over again. So that's how you can tell if your electric has been out and if it's been out long enough that you may have to throw away your meats, which kind of sucks, but it does happen, you know does happen so there you go so guys again that's how you can tell if everything was thawed out in your freezer and refroze quick and easy you only need one bottle I used two for the purposes of making this video like I said I put some tea in there just so you could see it better you know because the water in these and with that white backdrop wouldn't show up very well so that's just what I used to uh, I didn't have any food coloring to color the water for you. But yeah, just um, like I said, fill it up. You know, about three-fourths full, half to three-fourths full. Freeze it sideways like this. Then stand it up. Once it's froze, stand it up. Make sure it's clear froze so you don't get a false, you know. And it'll stay frozen like that until it's thawed. Once it thaws out and comes down to there and then refreezes, you know your meat may be bad. Just a quick life hack and a little tip. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope it helps you. And uh, y'all be cool, all right? Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Bye-bye, guys. Take care. You guys didn't think I was going to let you go that easy, did you? I got a funny blooper for you I'm going to put in right now. Um, let me explain to you what's going on. Uh, I was make, I'm making supper for Monkey. And uh, I had a pan in the oven when I started preheating the oven. I forgot it was in there. Well, I took it out and uh, set it up here to cool. And you know how when a cookie sheet cools, it'll bang. 
and scared the hell out of me. I'll loop it for you a couple times. Enjoy the clip and have a good one.